So hi, I'm Phoenix Howe. Hi, I'm Jesse Bonilla. Hi, I'm Chantal Alcantara. Hi, I'm Lai Dupont. I don't know which I could. Hi, I'm Lai Shang Yuki. So today we're going to talk about innovation versus efficiency. And we're going to go in details with two examples, which are Google's and Apple. So today we're going to talk about efficiency and innovation. And we're going to go into detail with two examples, which are Apple and Google. Um, what is the difference of innovation and efficiency? Is that innovation is the introdu introduction of something new, as in goods or services. It, is a, it can be a change or alteration of something that's already existing, or it could be re um, revolution or breakthrough of um, products. And efficiency is to use resources, people, money, raw materials, and the like, wisely and cost effecti effectively. It's, um, it's about less time spending and less employees for higher goal achieved. And this is one example of innovation. At first, we only have flame to enlighten the um, environment, and then we are introduced by um, electricity and uh, light bulbs. So we get um, revolution of each product. So, and now today, we have better products in light bulbs, which are LED lights. And here's another um, example. We, um, this is the revolution of wheels. It was made from stones, wood, and now tires for our cars. And for efficiency, first we have to have innovations, and then we, it takes a lot of um, efforts to be efficient in pr producing. It takes teamwork, marketing, management, analysis, and all the, these efforts to make it work. And this is another example for um, clarification. Efficient means pursuing the right goals and efficient, cost efficient. And then back ineffective, inefficient would be pursuing wrong goals and efficient, not producing enough and are expensive. Today, guys, from work group by Bob. And I think like management practice and implement strategy are coordinated, so like it's just gonna talk together. Everyone have opinion call. Everyone opinion call for the company and is give actionable feedback to the company. They have the clear vision, goal, and progress to keep the team focused on priority results. The information that I got is the. On the first day, when they have the interview, the interview have to go through like six people at least to meet with the management and po uh, possible the F uh, the colleague. And while they are working there, they have share or uh, they share an office and use conference room for detailed discussion and this is their communicate clear goal. And this two picture are showing the their workplace. The right is showing their conference room and the left is, is their recreation room. Google have provide the facility to keep their employee focused on their project. Let's move on. All right. The employee has balanced their, uh, their freedom to work in their workplace they, because, the empo uh, because the company empower their employee. And that is the main value for Google because they flat the hierarchy. And for the employee having meaningful discussion at least every six months, that help employee with the career development. They allow employee to spend 20% work week on site project that, we, that is called the 20% project. It's help their employee to be more creative. And lastly, they set the quality of recruitment selection and employee retention, which is the high 
HR function that I have been giving the, uh, the example earlier. Hold on. And this tool picture is from that innovation. The first one on the left is the Google self-driving car. It will come out in a few years, but on the right is, is one project that they can, oh, you can modify your phone. But however, it seems to get out of the Google product because they have the pixel that coming out right now. Thank you. Another topic with the management practice. Like they save a lot of cash. The cash is for their high valuation in order for the e, uh, e, uh, emergency stuff or further business development. Like their headquarters, they throw more than a million of dollars in order to build it up. The other thing is the business project and, and the employee within the group is all kept in a top uh, secret as the intelligence of it. Because if the project is going to dilute or if they are not going out to the market, they are going to just kill the project with no one knows and no market uh, information will be disclosed. In that way, they won't dilute their brand name, won't dilute their market image. The other thing is their implementation strategy is also very successful. In the firm, they have a high position of brand, of brand of awareness and all the products are so high end, user friendly with high quality. In, in this order, on this course, they are going to develop the high intensive market share with high EPS earning per share within, within their stock market. And also this advanced level in a different level, make them as a big giant. And on the rest of this uh, uh, manage, uh, management and strategy, I'm introduce my um, uh, group member Jesse is going to introduce the mix of it. Hi, so I'm Jesse, and I'm going to be talking a little bit more about uh, Apple's management practices and some of the strategies that they implement um, for those practices. And after that, um, we're going to talk about a few of the the recommendations that we as a group have come up with for Google and Apple to um, improve on their efficiency and innovation. So first off, we're going to talk about Apple's management practices. Um, one of their big practices is they prioritize. So they, they tend to put their best people on their best products or their most important products. So they, they decide what product needs the most um, focus and then they choose the best people for that and only those people will work on that. Um, another one of their management practices um, and it's a big one is secrecy. So that secrecy has worked for them for many years and it's one of their biggest things. They, they don't share anything on or new information with the media and but they also don't share it with um, fellow employees. Um, so Basically, like instead of like not not only do, do they not leak any information to outside the company, but even their own colleagues at times don't know what's going on with new products. Um, they focus on their products and they keep their teams very small, organized, and efficient. Um, so only specific personnel will deal with certain um, aspects of a project or whatever it may be, and they do this so like. Other other employees that don't need to focus on that won't won't be distracted from their work. Um, and another important thing, and that we as a group liked, was that they keep employees where they excel. So sometimes an employee that does a good job might get a promotion, but at Apple, what they do is instead they they give them a pay raise in order to keep those employees where they excel instead of just giving them a new title. So now we're going to talk about some improvements that Google to make, can make so they can be a little bit more innovative. Um, one of our, our biggest recommendations would be to not overreach. So that would be just to keep focus on what they do well and improve those products by 
just making them more innovative as, in, as, as opposed to, to trying to reach a wide variety of markets and areas. Um, they can also uh, make it a point to create strategies and amongst the managers and employees to be able just to grow and be more creative together. Uh, for Apple, in order to be more efficient, we think it might be a good idea to cut back a bit on the secrecy just because when you have more people working together, sometimes it can um, move the process along faster. Um, another one of our recommendations that kind of goes along with that is to empower employees to collaborate and work together to be more efficient. So the same thing, when they're working together, they can get more done and more efficiently in shorter amounts of time. And another thing would be to focus on the ultimate goal instead of focusing on details. Uh, one of the things that Apple does well is that they, they focus, um, they do a good job on focusing on details, but sometimes that can maybe impede their progress and slow them down, as opposed to, to focusing on the bigger picture. And that's it. Oh, okay. So, which one's better? Well, it's kind of hard to say since both are pretty much equally both innovative and efficient. Um, this year only, Apple and Alphabet, which is the parent company of Google, have gone back and forth and back and forth again as the most valuable company um, this year. Okay, according, according to Forbes, Money.CNN, and Fortune. Okay, so going back to the topic, both Apple and Google have multiple impactful strides in the technology business and continue to do so. Okay. Apple is more of the innovator. Um, the introduction of the first, the first touch screen the first touchscreen phone was monumental to the society and so continues to be top seller in the cellular industry. Okay, the company is based on creativity and effort of the employees. Um, and the company strives on secrecy, as Jesse said before. Um, but the secrecy helps um, innovation grow um, since employees' creativity is both personal and private. For Google, um, Google leans more towards efficiency. They are a search, en search engine and in, um, internationally the most used. How can it not be um, as efficient of the two? Google allows its users maximum productivity with its apps such as Translate, Photos, Gmail, Hangouts, Maps, and Drive. Um, Google is more efficient also in terms of management practices. They're open to strategies and how they treat their employees. They let employees relax and let them achieve the goal at their own pace. So, let me state the question again. Which is better in both terms? And the winner is Google. <laughs> Google has the right amount of efficiency to keep the company stable and going. Uh, um, efficiency, yeah, stable and going. And the right amount of innovation to keep their users interested and satisfied. And that's it, that has been group two in project one.